got the live thing to get in here to do a quick live hunt. The first book I picked up from the library was Cool Prince by Holly Black. And I synopsis. Of course, I want to be like them. They're beautiful as birds, fortunate and divine friend. They will live forever, and Cardin is even more beautiful than the rest. I hate him more than all the others. I hate him so much that sometimes when I look at him, I can hardly breathe. One terrible morning, Jude and his sisters see their parents murdered in front of them. The fearsome assassin abducts all three girls and brings them to the Lord of the Royal Ferry affair, where Jude is installed into the Royal Court. Lots and tormented for being merely mortal, Jude soon realises that the survivor in the stretch of dangerous new world. She needs to be smart, cunning, and disciple as fit as the fate themselves. But the stairway to power is fraught with shadows on the trail and looming over all. Is it infuriating arrogant and carries risk with Prince Carden? Jude must take the utmost care. Then I also picked up from the library. I'm not going to read you the synopsis because of spoilers. But I picked up later in the back of Sandra Fair. And it is a hunger. Um, but it is. And then I'm going to read Lord of Shadows. Oh, that's all my request. Lord of Shadows needs requesting. Oh, yeah. Then I got The Queen of the Healing by Erica Johansson. It was on her 90th birthday that the soldiers came for Kelsey Glenn. They came to escort her back to the place of her birth and to ensure she survives long enough to take possession of what is rightfully hers. But like many 19 year olds, Kelsey is unreal, has high principles, and believes she knows better than her elders. Unlike most 19 year olds, she is about to inherit a kingdom that is on its knees, corrupt, debauched, and very dangerous. Kelsey will even become the most fierce and real of the kingdom has ever known, or be dead within the week. Then I picked up Carve the Mark by Veronica. In a galaxy powered by the current, everyone has a gift. Kyra is the sister of the brutal tyrant who is the Shurak Shatak's people. Kyra's current gift gives her, the, gives her pain and power to something her brother exploits, using her to touch for his enemies. But Kyra is much more than just a blade in her brother's hand. She is resilient, quick on her feet, and smarter than it than he knows. Arkans is the son of a farmer and an oracle from the frozen nation planet of Trav. Tets of Faye's unusual current gift, Arkas is generous and spirit, and his loyalty to his family is limitless. Once Arkas and his brother are captured by the enemy Tourette soldiers, Arkas is desperate to get his brother out alive, no matter what the cost. Then Arkas is thrust into Kyrie's world and their enemy to take between their countries and families. Seem insurmountable. Will they help each other to survive, or will they destroy one another? Carve the mark as Ronnie for our stunning trail power, friendship, and love in galaxy filled with unexpected gifts. When did that come out? When did this come out? Last year. So i bit behind on this, but yeah. And then I picked up the Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. 19 foot, what is the pure future of once the past? 19 foot to have Claire Randall goes to the Scottish Highlands with Holtz and Frank. It's a second honeymoon, a chance to learn how war has changed him and to re-establish her love in marriage. But one afternoon, Claire walks through a circle of standing stones and vanishes into 1743, where the first person she meets is a British Army officer, her husband, Tim's great-grandfather. Unfortunately, Black Jack Randall is not the man his descendant is. And while trying to escape from Claire Falls into the hands of a gang of Scottish outlaws, and finds herself a snatch and outlander in danger from both Jacobites and Red Courts. Marooned amid, marooned amid danger, passion, and violence, her only chance of safety lies in Jamie Fraser, a gallant young Scots warrior. What the lot begins in compulsion becomes in compulsion becomes urgent need, and Claire finds herself torn between two very different men in two in reconcilable lives. So those are five books I got from the library and I will have a review of most of these, well four of these, 
of a little quick review of the anime title because I haven't reviewed them. And when the first review will be up will be the Coral Prince because I have nearly finished it. So yeah, bye guys, I'll see you in the next video.